Snow like this slows everyone down. <laughs> Been a long time since I've seen a white Christmas. Sit, relax. You're making me antsy. You just get off a bus? Yeah, from Nashville. Ah, country music. What? But you're a singer. No. Do I really look like a singer? Well, could be. I'm a soldier. Army, just back from Afghanistan. Combat? I saw a little. What? Never understood the whole lady soldier thing. Oh, great. Well, physically. Don't even, don't even say it. Did you serve? Vietnam. Got shot in the leg. Right here. Hurt like a mother. You been shot? No. My buddy Jenkins dragged me to safety. You think you could have done that? Dragged me to safety? I would have carried you to safety. Come on. I'm looking at you. I'm guessing you can do tw maybe 25 push-ups. No, 25. Oh, maybe not. And I suppose you could do more. I do 25 push-ups every morning, even now. I bet you're breathing heavy by the end of that. When I was a soldier, I once did 150 straight. No break. Oh, come on. Hard-ass sergeant got mad at me one day. Made me keep going. He thought he was going to break me. He thought I was going to throw up. I showed him. 150. Straight. Wow. I was hurting by the end. But I didn't let him see that. 150. I did 172 once. You did not. I did. We had a contest. Cocky guy named Burke thought he could do more than me. Thought he could do twice as many as me, actually. He collapsed at 81. I kept going, just kept pumping him out, watching the look on his face the entire time. 172. You're serious. I'm not going to let you feel my arm. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. I don't want to feel your arm. But I could have carried you. You just home for the holidays or are you out for good? Oh, I'm out. Done. Time to do something else. WW2, they would have had a band here waiting for you. Did you get a band? Nah. I remember when I came back 47 years ago today. This bench was different. It was made of wood back then. It was the best day of my life. Because when my girl, Mary, came to pick me up, I gave her some flowers, and then I proposed to her. Got down on one knee right over there. She was so happy to see me. She would have said yes to anything. But we were married for 42 years, and it was good. I mean, there were some hard times. She, she couldn't have kids. We were more than enough for each other, I think. Yeah, you know, then she passed more than four years ago now. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, every year on this day, I come here, I bring some flowers, same kind I had that day, and I sit here. And I remember the smile on her face, her blonde hair, oh, and that cute little nose. She would have carried you if she had to. <laughs> I think she would have. That's who I'm waiting for, too. Oh, your fella? My girl. Brunette, great smile. Not sure if her nose can really be described as cute or little, for that matter, but I love her nose. So you're... Yes. And she's... That's how it works, yeah. You don't approve. Oh, well, the Bible says... It depends on how you read it. Oh, there's nothing wrong with the way I read it. <laughs> oh, you remind me of my father. Tough? Devout, stubborn, inflexible, and... Yeah, tough. 
You know, nothing wrong with being devout. I think God wants us to be happy, to find love, to carry each other, or drag each other if that's the only way. <laughs> I'm going to ask her tonight at my parents' house in front of everyone. Your father going to be there? Yeah. And he doesn't know. <laughs> oh. I knew that I was gay when I was 12. And I always figured one night I'd tell them I was gay and they'd smile, tell me they knew all along. But somehow we never had that conversation. So tonight, I think they'll be happy I'm home. And my mother is a great great cook and she, she puts out a huge spread so everyone will be stuffed and a little drunk and when I pull this out and they see that smile on Jenny's face I think they'll be overjoyed and then my father hugs me it's my dream and hey, after 172 push-ups, anything's possible. You think Jenny will smile? Oh, I know she'll smile. That's the only thing I'm sure of in this entire world. Uh, I think you'll ruin their dinner. <laughs> oh, maybe. Maybe. But I can't live life afraid of that. Oh, and there she is. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for telling me your story. Don't stay out here too late. It gets cold. Hey, do you have a place to go? Uh, don't worry about me. Where are you having dinner? I'll fix myself a plate when I get home. Come with me. My mother makes way too much food for the holidays. When we're done, I'll bring you back here, take you home, whatever you need. Uh, that's all right. Listen, when, my, when I was 15, my father told me that if I ever had a friend who needed a meal to bring them by. Never needed to cash that in until now. Come on. I don't think I'd be comfortable. Because I'm gay? I can't really wrap my mind around it. Hey, you. <laughs> I've missed you so much. I'm back. I'm decided I'm staying. I'm not going anywhere. Promise? Promise. Jenny, this is um, Tom. This is, this is my Jenny. Hi. Hey, film this. What? Just point and shoot. What are you doing? Marry me, Jenny. <laughs> Make me the happiest woman ever. Yes. God, yes. <laughs> it's, it's beautiful. Did you get it? I think so. I'm trying to get Tom to come to dinner. If I get drunk enough, I'll do some push-ups. Maybe not 172, but 50. 50? I can beat that. I'd like to see that. Please come. All right. <laughs>